of happy people, I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Made for Dinner, and me and Austin are about to do something that's a chance of a lifetime. We're gonna get on the Greyhound, and we're flying out to the aircraft carrier, the George Washington. We're at Navy Station, Norfolk, up here in Virginia, and we're gonna get on the COD, the C-2 Greyhound, and fly out through the aircraft carrier. Check this out, guys. This is the most amazing thing I've ever done. Good, how are you? Good, this is wonderful. I will take your cranial and your float coat from you. Yes, sir. Hey, we'll see y'all in a second. I'd be, I'd, I'd argue to say that's the only hey. bear archery shirt ever worn on an Team aircraft bear. carrier. <laughs> we just got on board. We're getting ready to greet it, and uh, this is amazing, you guys. Hey, good morning. Hey, sir, ready to Welcome aboard. What's up, man? Doing? Good, man. How are you? Where are you from? My name's Monty. I'm from Texas, uh, and I'm here on the USS George Washington. How long have you been in? Uh, three years. What's your favorite thing to do? Move aircraft. Move aircraft. So when I'm looking at that, there's a, a person or a, a like a fake person in that aircraft. Yeah. What's that? What's that for? Yeah. So that's Rescue Randy. He's our uh, our dummy for when we uh, practice on rescuing pilots from aircraft. We'll run drills. We'll climb up there, pull them out as if there's a fire on the aircraft. We'll rescue. Them. So rescue Randy. So who do you want to say hey to back home? Let me think. How about Josh? What's going on, Josh? What's He's up? He's up man? in Dallas right now. So what is this right here? This is our aircraft elevator. This is aircraft elevator number two. We've got another one over here in Hangar Bay One, and we've got two more in Hangar Bay Three. So we've got four total. These are the ones that bring down the aircraft from the flight deck. I need to come down here to the hangar bay to come in here and get maintenance and everything else done. So for you, you're part of the Navy. Right. Like you probably grew up like you have an awesome family and you do yeah. all kinds of cool things. Absolutely. What has the Navy done positive for you? Well, I mean, it's helped me develop my leadership skills, become a better person, kind of grow. When I joined the Navy, I was still, I mean, I was 20 years old, so still a kid. I mean, I'm 23 now, but it's helped me develop my leadership skills, become better as a person, just kind of grow as a human and, you know, get to see really cool places. I mean, you know, I've been all around the world, so. What's up, big man? What's up? 1,001, 1,002. <laughs> Not quite. So my girls always jump rope. I want to count how many you can jump rope before you mess up. Hey, Ari and Emma, what's your name? Brent. Brent, where are you from? California. California? This is for, hey, Ari and Emma, Brent's going to jump rope and we're going to count, okay? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come on, 
Come on, let's see some crazy tricks. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Hey, thank you guys so much, man. Super cool. My man. Hoover. These things are awesome. Can I buy one of those from you? I got you. I got you. Right? Seriously, okay. can you have it by tomorrow is the question. I can make it with it. Yeah, I can make it by then. My name is Hoover, Tyler, uh, from Pennsylvania, York, Pennsylvania. Uh, York? York, yeah. Hold on. Right here, he's from Pennsylvania as well. Oh, yeah, from Pennsylvania? Yeah, what York. Part? York, Pennsylvania. Oh, right on. I'm Lebanon County. Oh, okay. And who's this? Walker. Hey, Miss Walker, how are you? Where are you from? I'm from Maine. Maine? Yes. On what part of Maine? I am from Oakland. Oakland, Maine? Yes. Who are you going to say hey to? Uh, I guess my dad and my mom. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Who are you going to say hey to? Uh, I'll say hello to my family and everything back, everybody back home. One thing that I've found about all these sailors, from the top to the bottom, everybody enjoys saying hey to their mom or their dad or their friends back home. Everybody thinks about home, but out here there's a mission, there's a job, there's a responsibility to be done. This is for real, y'all. Yeah, we got like a... Like oh, look! There's Jet about to take off. just like you walk with a certain amount of moxie and like you guys have it put together I really appreciate that. It's the best job on the boat by far in my opinion. We were just down on the flight deck watching the, the F-18s come in and to be that close to that much steel under that much power and everything working perfectly and so this is the ship's navigator what do you do on a daily basis? Uh, my primary objective is to keep the ship off the rocks, right? <laughs> that's that's very important. Of the ship, safe navigation of the ship, uh, looking for shipping traffic, uh, shoal water, um, as well as primary execution of the day's mission. So today, flight operations, right? Aircraft carrier, aircraft's kind of the primary piece. We are doing uh, what we call carrier qualifications to qualify new pilots who are in the training pipeline to become fleet aviators. This is your job, this is who you are, this is what you do. Where are you from and who are you? Sure. Uh, from Maine originally, uh, born and raised, and I've uh, been in the Navy for 20 years and two weeks. 20 years and two weeks. But who's counting? Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that I find so amazing about the Navy and all branches of our military is it's made up of, it's huge and it's powerful. It stands for peace, but it's made up of amazing people that make the, the Navy and the military. So I want to say thank you very much. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for what you do and who you are and what you're a part of. 
No, absolutely glad to have you on board. So, so you're a navigator. Can I send you a pair of Steiner Commander binoculars as my treat to you? The Navy would be proud to accept. Thank you very <laughs> much, sir. I appreciate that. Hey, Jordan, I promise you the binoculars could get no better service than with the navigator of the George H.W. Bush. He's out here as kind of a substitute on the bridge right now but your main job is on George H.W. Bush. That's absolutely right, sir. Happy to serve on uh, any ship that uh, needs a navigator. Well, one day I hope to meet you there. Well, thank you, sir. Have a great day. Hey, well. folks, this is amazing. It's amazing to think that's literally at, like, right there. That is right there. So. You better be ready for it. The first time it happened, it about scared me half to death. I thought someone was falling on me. So literally, we're just coming down the stairs here, and you just went like you're you're getting qualified, or what are you doing in jet? Uh, I do nothing except uh, ride it once uh, as a as a going away gift from the ship. I'm the chief engineer on the submarine or on the, on the carrier. And uh, is the jet for you, or is it not for you? Yeah. It was an amazing experience, once in a lifetime, and once is enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, my once in a lifetime dream is to, to get a backseat ride in the 18. I can only imagine how amazing that was yeah. coming off the ship. Spectacular. Uh, awesome. Got, it broke the sound barrier, uh, did a loop, uh, got up to 4G's. Uh, I think the 4G loop was what did me in. So. <laughs> did you pass out? I didn't pass out, but I did uh, experience that uh, you lose like your sense of awareness when the when the higher G's, the you know, blood starts leaving your brain. So I did I did experience that. So it yeah, was, it was amazing. That's awesome, Bez. No, no. <laughs> hey, thank you very thank much. You, I appreciate it. Have a good day. We are now in our beds. This is called our rack. And right above us is the flight deck. The good thing is, if you work hard enough and walk, walk. That sounded like, I don't know what the heck that sounded like, but it sounded loud. Long story short, if you walk long enough and you work hard enough, you can sleep through anything. And Sarah packed me some like earplugs, so that's good. Now, time to try to get some sleep and we'll see y'all at 6.30 in the morning. Well, good morning, people. We, uh, we got a decent night's sleep. It was loud, things like made some noises that you're not used to. Right to the right. Y'all are wondering what the head in an aircraft carrier looks like? This is our man right here. This is Hoover. Look at that. I guarantee you guys, let me come over here so y'all can see it with a light. <laughs> that will go everywhere with me. So this is the new iguana. My friends, Carly, Haluska, and Rayleigh, they made me something for my keys, but it was small, and I called it the Green Iguana. Look at that! That was way faster than I expected. Holy mackerel. But now Hoover has done a go gone above and beyond and you just made this, or did yeah. you already have this I, made? I had it made. I made it last night. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. When you're watching the channel, if you ever see any of my videos, you'll see this. Okay. Absolutely. What do most people have? Keys on it? Uh, keys we have. We we wear them, so we have our whistle on on us at all times. What do you blow the whistle for? Uh, so we blow the whistle uh, whenever, like for safety or anything, we're moving aircraft. If anything that we see unsafe or something's going wrong, we blow the whistle. And when that happens, we uh, don't hear the chalks and stuff into the aircraft to prevent it from stopping. We just stop the whole thing in general. So it's also a way to communicate uh, to 
the flight deck if the elevator or horn doesn't work or anything like that. But it's all about safety. Wow, man. Wow. of the ship here and literally when you look behind me you see the whole wake that wake represents where it's going and what it's doing I don't know where it's going but what it's doing is standing for peace and prosperity stand for a world of freedom look at that bird I swear to God we're in the middle of the ocean hundreds of miles from nowhere and a bird just shows up it's a good day, folks. I'm proud to be an American. The ship, I'm proud of each and every person on the ship. Thank you so much for your kindness and your hospitality, inviting us and welcoming us to your home. This is a city that never sleeps. It's always got an eye open. Yo, what's up, happy people? I want to tell y'all something. I don't care how nice your car is, if there were no repair shops, if there was nobody to fix the car, cars would not have a, a lifespan. Same thing, we're on aircraft here. We got a man right here. He's been in the Navy for 30 years. So tell them who you are, where you come from. Commander Charles Fisher, uh, originally from New Bern, North Carolina. Been doing this for, like Rob said, about 30 years now. And this is a, a petty officer. At E9, he's as high as you can be ranked with an enlisted officer without being a commanding, a commander, right? If we're not good for guys like you. Thank you very much, man. I tell you one thing, being on this ship is very humbling. And there's nothing that's ever made me more proud to be an American than flying out here and landing on the deck of this ship and seeing all you guys. You, uh, you make it amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. You love deer hunt, right? Yes, sir. What about hunting with me sometime? We'd love to. Yeah? We'd love to. What would you want to go hunting for? Uh, I think we told yesterday the gator. <laughs> That's one thing I've never done. I would I would love to do the gator thing. <laughs> this goes, it stands for peace. It can create thousands and thousands of gallons of fresh water daily. It can handle crises. It does so much for good, yet it was built for war. Not to fight a war, but to keep the war from happening. We are on CVN 73, the USS George Washington. That right there, it might only weigh a fraction of nothing but it could cost an engine millions of dollars. That's called a FOD, foreign an object debris. And right out here at the end of the ship, all these sailors are walking the whole length of the ship, looking for anything that might be sucked into the intake and damage the engine. Hey, this guy hey, right here, hey, he's hey, like an he ox. Was, he thought you were, uh, I just saw him walking along. I was like, "Hey, yeah, there's he just saw the, 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 the big diesel." Look, look at this, man. This guy, if they need the aircraft carrier picked up, they call him. <laughs> the reason that they do these uh, fod walks, they're looking for nuts, bolts, wires, anything. This guy right here, his main job is when they find something, if it's a nut or a bolt, he figures out where on earth that came from. So although this looks like mundane or simple, it's highly sophisticated and it's very, very important. Hey, I want to ask y'all a question. That's black, white, black. Why is this white? Leave it in the comments below. The winner is the winner. This is literally just one detachable link from that anchor. I gotta try it. Jeez. I can't even pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> if you do pick it up, do not drop it on your toe. That's just one link. I knew y'all were doing something. I was like, what are they doing down there? Hey, come here, come here. What's your name? Uh, Amy Tuberato. 
We were down there and I saw them. They were doing something. I saw what was going on. So what just happened there? Oh, uh, we just did my re-enlistment. So he got sworn out of the Navy and got sworn back in. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Gainesville, Florida. Ga Go Gators! Yeah! I'm a big time Gator fan, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Awesome. Hey, University of Florida, this guy right here should be in a suite watching some game the next time he comes home. Right here, man. All these people are amazing. They help every time the, the uh, plane comes on or goes off this ship. They have so many jobs, and I just want to tell you thank you so much. How much longer are you going to be in for? Uh, three years. Awesome. Hey, this is the United States Navy, and I'm a proud American. Hey, thank everybody. Thank y'all so much, man. Yeah. Hey, we're on the decks of the George Washington. Having a good time, man. What's your name, man? My name is Edmund Briscoe the Fourth. The Fourth? Yes, sir. That's awesome, man. And where are you from? Well, as of right now, you know, I came from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, joined the Navy for numerous reasons. You know, uh, my family gave me some good motivation to want to join the Navy. And as I've, as I've been here as a young sailor, you know, first I want to say, a captain, he's a great captain. He's a great leader. He's, um, he's very personal. You know, he will actually speak to you, and he gives a lot of motivation to keep you going as a young sailor. And as I've been on board. The um, family ship and the battle minor crew that they're building within this ship is, is wonderful, and I and I'm glad to be a part of it. And this yes sir right here, I'm blessed to really be able to talk to him. I got a huge opportunity up in the uh, primary tower to get a chance to talk to him and get an interview going. So this is a huge moment for me. And I do want to say I thank you, sir. I guarantee really you guys, it. drop a thumbs up for how well spoken this young man is. So we were up top, we were in the tower watching jets come in, and, and I didn't have the opportunity to sit and talk with you, yes, sir. but to know that you're from Vegas, you got family structure, they motivated you to be a part of the Navy, yes, and now you're forging your own legacy. You're out yes, here becoming a man, yes, and like where you go from here is up to you. Yes, sir, but I guarantee, true. I guarantee you go far just by who you are. Yes, sir. Well, much appreciated, sir, and I thank you for the good words, and shout out to our great leaders. You know, we got some great leaders around here, truly. We really do. Good habits. I like to read, you know. Uh, reading is very helpful, you know, when it comes to being, you know, talking-wise, when it comes to communicate with other people. I read, uh, number one, I got to get some PQSs, you know, which is getting qualified to do certain things. In order for me to be on the flight deck, I had to get qualified for me to even be up here. So that's number one, get qualification, and I read on a day-to-day -day basis. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Now, when you're back home, what do you do? What's for fun? What oh, do you do? Okay, let's see. Back home, what is for fun? Uh, I kind of, I kind of get into, you know, kind of. Um, it's a lot. I like designing. You know, that's designing. That's, yes, sir. I kind of like designing. I have a high interest in designing. Uh, I got a high interest in um, kind of getting some media as well. But so otherwise, than those two. I really kind of enjoy it with my family as well. I spend some time with my family, so. Awesome. That's, you got a girlfriend, wife, what, what's uh, going on well, back I, home? As of right now, girlfriend, not yet, but one day I'm going to have my wife. One day it's going to come. You know? Hey, so one all day. the girls watching right now, he's single, and I guarantee you this guy's a catch. <laughs> Thank hey, you, sir. it's such a good time talking <laughs> yes, to you. you Thank you well. so much. Uh, we need to stay in touch when you're back on land. Yes, sir. If I can ever do anything to help yes, you, I certainly will. We'll but do. I want you to have all my personal contact we'll so you can get in touch with me yes, personally. Sir. We'll do. Well, thank you. Much appreciated, sir. Thank you so much. You're very Much welcome, man. the opportunity. How old are you? Well, uh, I'm a young sailor, so I'm 19. You can remember in 20 years me telling you this. You're going to go a long way in life. Oh, yeah. You're going to go a long way, and it all starts with your attitude. Yes, sir. I we'll guarantee you are going to go a long way. Well, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Very good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You will see him again. I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. And I'm, thank you. Hey, how you doing? Dirty Me for Dinner. My name is Stephen Jones. We're here on the ship together. I watch your show all the time. Uh, I think you're amazing. You catch some of the best shit I've ever seen in my life, and I wish you the best, man. So these are parts that you would never otherwise see. That cable is big around as my, as my hand. And this is a part of the arresting wire. When the plane comes in, the tail hook grabs this wire. There she is, y'all. Hey, how are you? This girl right here, she puts it all together. She makes it happen. She's <laughs> awesome to work with. Woohoo! This guy right here, when I forget things, he takes me to the room <laughs> so I can get them. That's right. We just got done with the aircraft carrier. Now we're all on board the C2A Greyhound, the COD. We're gonna fly back to the Navy Station in Norfolk, Virginia.
But first, cat shot, baby. We're gonna get catapulted right off the front of the aircraft. All right, we got a change of plans, folks. We uh, are supposed to be on the second cod, the second Greyhound out. Unfortunately, it got too late. And after getting all buckled in and ready to go, they said, get off the plane. You're not going. So Austin is back on land. He's at the hotel and I'm still on the carrier. Got a man right here. <laughs> we're gonna go cruise around and, like, let's see. Oh, we're in the hangar bay right here. Okay, so this is not a part of the tour or like, this is just us being us. What do you think? I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. Changing plans. We've met a new fan, new great guy. What do you do? Uh, I'm the quality assurance supervisor on board CVN 73. I make sure everything, that all maintenance has been done safely. I also make sure everyone's doing their job. And it's my job to kind of call them out if they're not doing it. So, In other words, he's the man with the plan. Don't mess around or you're going to find out. I never thought in a million years that this is what I'd be doing tonight, but I, here I am. You make the most out of the way life turns out. And right now, I'm on the ship. So I'm gonna see what happens. If you're a scatterbrain like me, this is a uh, this is a good qualification to have. You gotta watch all of these gauges when that plane comes up to the cat. So when you're in that, that C2 guide and we take tension, there's someone down here watching every single one of these gauges. All of the lights, so we call these dummy lights, and we also got my functional lights down there. If there's something wrong with the catapult, we'll know. This ain't no joke. I've been following him. We've been like walking through all these dark rooms and you name it. And we came in to this spot. The bubble. And I saw these windows. What is this? This is the WasteCats ICCS, Integrated Catapult Control System Station. This is where the launching officer would sit, and that's where the enlisted operator would sit. From here, if I could, this is where the coveted fire button is. So once we're ready to launch an aircraft, all safety parameters have been met, everything lines up, the winds are good, we'll, they'll, they'll, they'll hit the final ready, final, 450 clear deck forward, 450 clear forward, they'll check for all the lights and thumbs, they'll flip up the button, and they'll actually fire the catapult with that button. So this button will send 60 to 68,000 pounds of American freedom north of the angle, and off into harm's way from just the push of a button. I always look in these windows and I see people in here and normally that person is like telling me to get out of the way. And so to actually be in here, this is really cool. I'm glad I missed my flight tonight. Where are we at right now? In the middle of the Atlantic on the V2 <laughs> office. We're in the V2 office on the aircraft carrier, the George Washington. So I missed my flight. No, I didn't miss it. It got canceled and then I'm hanging out with my man back here. Literally, I've seen things like I can't even imagine. I think missing my flight was the best thing that's ever happened in life. And now I'm about to watch Tampa Buccaneers hopefully beat the Bills on Thursday night football. It's a good day, y'all. This is no joke. We got Top Gun playing up there. We got probably some high school football game on here. We're playing some Texas Hold'em here. And we got the man over there. We got the stateroom all to myself. These are your top racks. That's where I slept last night. I slept right here last night. I made all this up. Is my rack. Upstairs, downstairs. Oh, that's it. But, uh, now, lay down. Oh. Thank you God for this day. Please look after me and my family and my kids and Austin. Just let it all work out. I love you and I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You guys, I'm going to bed. Good night. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna go get on that plane and actually leave this time. Here we go, you guys.
I want to say thank you so much to everybody that's a part of the Navy and a part of the George Washington. Your hospitality is amazing. And I want to say to each and every parent, friend, family member of all those sailors, those people are out there on the ship doing amazing work, learning about life and living to the fullest. They're making you proud. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. Thank you so much for making me feel at home. That was a trip of a lifetime. Thank you so much. But that's all I've got for today. Take care. God bless. And we gone.